Hey, this is Sam from Wargamer Online again, and I'm going to show you a very, very quick uh, basing video on doing like a forest ground. Um, this is on one of my favourite models, a sniper model, Mad Larkin, and I'm just going to show you how to use herbs and static grass and tufts just to brighten up your base basically. So this is static grass from Games Workshop, there's loads of companies out there, you can get it on eBay, you can get it all over the place and I just use a little bit of PVA glue and any sort of tool to stick it down as, as well as possible. And you can find all sorts of different things for your basing materials as well so make sure you, s you store them in little boxes and tubs. Um, one thing that I really like to use is herbs and you can get if you look down the herb aisle in any sort of supermarket or shop you can find stuff like mixed herbs and oregano or anything that looks like it would be nice on a base and if you mix a bit of PVA glue and drop it onto the base it automatically gives it texture makes it look realistic and that's all we're going to do with this we're going to block out the main part of the base with static grass tufts and then we're going to do a mix of herbs and static grass and anything else and then drop it onto all of the rest of the areas and you'll see it makes the model stand out, makes the base stand out from anything else. So there's my mix already and I'm just going to drop it on. And if you want this to be thicker as well, to look like it's even more overgrown, you can let the first lot dry, let it completely dry, then do a very thin watered down coat of PVA glue over the top of it to seal it and then you can do a second PVA layer and add a little bit more in locations. I haven't been patient with this, I've just took PVA glue straight on top of the, the first layer and I'm just going to add more to it. If you don't mind doing that it will work fine. Um, if you don't want it to fall apart though just make sure you let the PVA dry and then do your second layer before you go on to the next chunk of uh, flock. And just do that around the entire model. You can seal this with some sort of uh, varnish, but that's the base done. It's really simple, really effective, and extremely cheap to get nice looking forest ground bases.